Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be going over the unique item known as the Raiment of the Infinite. The Raiment of the Infinite is a pretty amazing uh, piece of equipment for the sorceress uh, because not only does it give a very nice effect, but it also uh, just simply has some other very nice connotations as well, depending on how you're using it. So first off, let's go over the Raiment of the Infinite. Um, it can, of course, drop in, um, well both World Tier 3 and World Tier 4. Um, it can be sacred or it can be ancestral. Um, and on top of this, you can also get it uh, upgraded as well. So 25 plus, so it's very nice. Um, this particular one that I have is a 749 plus 25, and it has 51 intelligence between 42 and 63. Uh, obviously not a perfect roll. Um, the damage to close enemies on it is uh, 24.8 to 35.3, which makes sense for the effect of this particular armor, because when you get in really close to enemies, you really do want to do tons of damage, and you're teleporting directly on top of their heads, and you're pulling them all in really close. So when you when you use this armor, they tend to be really close. That's just how the armor works. Um, they also have 33% increased damage to stunned enemies, which is very nice, and actually works surprisingly well with my build, which is the charged bolt build, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, now, the glass cannon uh, passive is interesting because it gives you tons of additional damage, but it also makes you take additional damage in the process, which is also kind of nice. So um, eh, that one's kind of a take it or leave it, whether you want to actually get that additional damage to sacrifice it for taking additional damage. I mean, if you're already getting your butt kicked, it might not really matter all that much. Um, now, the special effect on this particular armor is that after using teleport, um, which of course is, um, I have it set up for an evasion skill, so mine is actually on my evasion skill, by the way. Um, after using teleport, every enemy that is within range, so close enemies basically, um, are pulled in and they are stunned for two to three seconds. Um, now, this is very interesting. It also increases the cooldown of teleport by 20%. So um, this one in particular is going to make it a little bit more difficult to get those off. Which is one of the reasons why I'm using teleport as a enchantment on this. Because it's very nice to have basically three stored up charges of teleport. Um, which helps with this particular ability. Now there's a bunch of different ways you can utilize this particular armor. But I think the way that it was intended. Not to you know poo poo on you guys who are using it in a different way other than it was intended. But the way that it was intended, I think, was to be used with the stun effect. Um, now, there are definitely things within the game that can utilize the stun effect. Like, for instance, the charged bolts have a 48% chance to release three charged bolts whenever you stun an enemy. Um, there's also things within the tree, like, for instance, the... Um, every time you stun an enemy, you deal 1,912 to 2,337 damage um, to the enemy. Um, and then there's also um, this one right here, which is shark skills have a 9% chance to stun enemies for 3 seconds. Um, and combining them all together, you can definitely have some very interesting things happen. So, for instance, if I find a nice juicy pack of monsters and I teleport on top of them with this particular character, it will stun them. And since I'm using the enchantment effect that uses charged bolts, they will all emit charged bolts without me having to do anything. Um, which means that I'll have a ton of damage. Also, dealing lightning damage has a small percent of chance to stun monsters, which can do even more lightning damage and emit even more charged bolts. And so literally just by teleporting in to a pack of monsters, not even really like trying to do anything special, um, you can see that just teleporting in stuns them, emits tons of charged bolts, causes a large amount of damage, and can potentially kill everything depending on how many monsters there are and how many monsters are stunned. Now... The downside of this, of course, is that the charge, the the uh, the teleport has a much longer cooldown, um, which I think when you're utilizing the uh, teleport as an enchantment, it is extremely powerful in this way. Um, we gather them up all nicely here and do a teleport into the center of these. You can see that just with one teleport, not even pressing any additional buttons, I was able to pretty much kill the majority of that pack utilizing these stun effects and things like that. Um, and I think that's the real uh, beauty here, is that that's what this, this is honestly set up for. 
It's set up for Chargeball Sorceress, who is teleporting in and stunning the monsters. The stuns are then triggering more charge bolts to come out, which are then, of course, triggering lightning novas and all sorts of other things, which are causing tons and tons of damage. Now, this is not the only way that you can utilize this ability. There's there's tons of other ways that you can do this. Um, the fact that it pulls all the enemies in is, of course, very beneficial to any sorceress who is dishing out large amounts of damage. If you're utilizing the Frost Nova skill, for instance, um, Frost Nova has a, you know, a very nice radius but if you can pull all the monsters in and then use Frost Nova, you can guarantee that all of them are going to be hit by it, which means that all of them are going to be uh, made vulnerable uh, by it, which is a big effect. Um, this means that in general, you will end up with a large amount of damage to those monsters within that range. Um, one of the most popular uses right now of the Raymond of the Infinite seems to be... Um, Ice Shards, uh, because Ice Shards has an enchantment that allows it to automatically conjure and fly toward enemies who are frozen. So, what you do with the Raymond of the Infinite with the Ice Shards, which is very simple, is you teleport in, you Frost Nova immediately, which causes all the monsters to that are, that are hit, obviously, because they got sucked in, all the monsters that are hit with the Frost Nova are frozen, then they are made vulnerable, then the ice shards, ice shards start shooting at them because they are frozen. And it's a very similar effect to the way the charge bolt's working, which is basically that you're teleporting, pulling everything in. Once you pull everything in, then the enchantment effect is doing its job. So, And it's pretty cool to be able to teleport multiple times, too, which is certainly very nice. That's right. There. <laughs> Let me go back to town real quick before I end up getting myself killed here. God knows you're not allowed to look at your UI element for two whole seconds. This is the game of don't blink too hard or you'll die. Go get them, ice, ice shards. <laughs> Um, all in all, the Raymond of the Infinite, I think, is one of the absolute really cool um, items. Because it just it allows you to dish out some pretty interesting damage. The stun effect is obviously very nice to stop the monsters in their tracks. Even if you're not utilizing stuns in your build for other effects, just simply having the stun when you teleport in is the equivalent of a protection against the enemies that you're teleporting into. So it helps prevent them from dishing out damage to you for a very short period of time. Now, the only thing that I will caution you about um, with this particular armor is that sometimes you can pull in too many monsters. And you might say, what do you mean too many monsters? Well, if you're ever in a situation where you aren't killing the monsters immediately, which you may find yourself in with this particular piece of armor, um, especially if you're trying to push high-level content, if you ever find yourself in a very tight situation with a lots of monsters and they surround you, so you pull them all in around you, and you can't get out. <laughs> so you've basically made yourself a wall of monsters around you, and unless you can poke a hole in that wall, um, you may or may not be screwed to, to you know, actually get yourself out of said wall. Um, so some people are actually utilizing um, the boot effect. Um, I think it's... Trying to remember here. It's, I can't remember exactly which boot effect it is. It's one of the aspects that allows you to walk through enemies. Um, we can probably find it within the codex. I'm pretty sure that it's mobility. Ah, uh, yes, this one right here, which is while unstoppable, and for four seconds after, you gain 10% increased movement speed and can moody, freely move through enemies. So if you use the Ghost Walker aspect with this Raiment of the Infinite, even if you ever find yourself in a situation where you have pulled in all the enemies, like a giant wall around you, and for some reason or another you're unable, completely unable, to, like, you know, get out of this wall, um, triggering your unstoppable ability, like, for instance, if you have ice armor or if you're using flame shield or whatever your unstoppable ability is, will allow you to actually move through the monsters and out of the giant wall of monsters that you yourself created. <laughs> so, yes, it's nice. Uh, this does have flavor text, but it basically just says, uh, the power you have is never enough. It's interesting. Um, it does have a, a kind of an interesting graphic as well, which, I mean, I figure why not. Let's go ahead and show off the graphic. We are going over the item. 
Um, and if you go to the do drink and you click on the default, um, it's kind of like a you know like a little 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 top there, a little crop top. I don't, know, I don't know what you call that. And then it has like some pretty blazing shoulder pads. Like I don't know. I don't know. Also comes with like a like a neck warmer. I'm not really sure what that's about. I guess she just really wants a warm neck. You know, <laughs> the warmest neck in the West. Uh, personally, it's not my cup of tea, like, for armor. But you can, uh, you can dye it various colors. I think I have a, uh... Don't I already have one of those in here? I, yes, there it is right there. So you can dye it, uh, like, different colors, and you can look at it in multiple shades. It does kind of have some interesting, like, dye jobs here like because because the metal sort of stays the same color on the the shoulder pauldrons um as you dye it the metal kind of acts as a stabilizing element and everything else kind of like works around it which is pretty cool i don't know it's it's interesting i think it looks better in different colors other than the red but the red is definitely the color that it comes in <laughs> Alright guys and gals, as always, I do appreciate you watching my videos, even when we're just talking about the Raiment of the Infinite. And as always, keep watching.